Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. And throughout the years we have done many updates of our garden but we've actually never done an update during winter. And uh, this winter is not like uh, most winters here so we thought it could be fun to just uh, show you around and uh, also show you how uh, you know stuff that we need to do in winter. Uh, normally we can't walk in the garden in the winter because of the snow. But this but year we can. This year. And this is the front porch where we have stuck the wood for the fireplace. This is the nice wood. Yeah, so the we've got... birch tree. Yeah, two That's only for the open fireplace. Yeah, so two uh, stacks of wood. I'm actually holding up two fingers here. <laughs> <laughs> the good wood <laughs> and the not so good wood in the sense that this one here crackles. So if you put this in the open fireplace, uh, it can be dangerous because sparks will be flying everywhere. With the birch wood, there are no sparks. So we use this for exclusively for our fireplace. And this is exclusively for the stoves. We've got... There are uh, some birch, but it's not dry yet. Yeah, no, it's not dry yet. And we have more in the garage. But we've got, we've got this uh, for our stoves. And we have a stove in every room of the house. And uh, Arne, you have to tell them how we got this wood. That's from the tree that fell down. Yeah. So we had a really tough winter uh, last year with a lot of ice on the trees and then the trees broke. So we had um, trees coming almost into the road. Yeah, yeah. so we've sawn um, a lot of trees. Uh, cool. yeah. This one has to dry a little bit before it burns. Yeah. And it looks like we're going to have pizza tonight. Uh, so uh, because it's uh, refrigerator <laughs> cold right now, it's about zero degrees uh, Celsius, which is around 30 Fahrenheit. This is actually one minus. Yeah, minus so one minus. So it's just a little bit under uh, 30 Fahrenheit. So, so works perfect so for as a refrigerator today. Yeah, and the sun is up. The sun is up. So. Come on, let's show you our stuff. Yeah, and look at this one, this machine. Normally we have so much snow that we bought this machine so we could blow the snow away between the two houses and around the greenhouse. And of course, we haven't used it yet. We bought this last year. So we, we bought this in the beginning of the year 2021. And there was already a lot of snow here, so it was impossible to, to do we it couldn't last use year. It. And then so we said, okay, this year we'll use it. Unfortunately, we haven't. It's, or maybe that's a good thing. It's as good as new. It's actually, yeah. I used it once this year. I remembered how to start the engine and now it just wait for more snow. Yeah, it's waiting for most more snow. <laughs> so and then the green in the greenhouse not much happened this year, but we have to get the feeders, we have to get, give the birds yeah, more. Yeah, we'll go we'll go on our way back. As you can see our wall here is all dead. Um, yeah. And everything will come again next year. It's incredible how it all just comes from nothing into something. It's very nice. Shall we go and look at our porch, Arne? Yeah, I got to. I had. I had to pick up the feeders because we have to feed the animals, the birds. Maybe we should try the snowblower. Yeah. And be careful here because there's a gap. Yeah. I fell here the other day. Here you see our Christmas star. We haven't taken it down yet because uh, we haven't. But we are not using it anymore. <laughs> I think it can be there. Yeah, why not? For next Christmas. So, and it's nice to sit here in the evening when it's dark. And if it's a starry night, you can put fire on the grill. And yeah, on our fire pit. Fire pit, and it's very cozy. Mm -hmm. We haven't done it since Chris before Christmas. Last time we did this, uh, we had a fire going was uh, when we said hello to everybody. No, we did it one more time. We had friends, a friend oh, yeah, from Copenhagen yeah. came to see us and then we spent an hour here. Mm. So let's go down to the greenhouse and fill the filler, the feeders. Welcome to the greenhouse. This is very messy this time of the year yeah. because we use it for storage. We keep the buckets for the bukashi. We wash them down here. Yeah, and we store our, our uh, chairs because they're very delicate. They don't, they don't stay outside because they just uh, break down. And then we also have the food for the birds in here because mm. we don't want to have that on the front porch because of the mice. 
So we keep the, the sunflower seeds down here. Yeah. And so we, we have got to this. fill this up. We got this globe here. This is really nice. We got this uh, in a store. And it's actually, um, it goes on solar uh, power. So in the evening when it gets dark. Hello. Sorry. In the evening when it gets dark, <laughs> uh, it glows. There's, there's a light. So it's nice. It illuminates the greenhouse. And yeah, it is messy here this time of the year, but we are going to clean it up soon. And we're going to start using it um, in about, I don't know, a few weeks time. Yeah, or a month maybe. Yeah. Because we, if we put up, uh, we, can, we can put up like, uh, you call that bubble rust? Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, and then we can actually cover up pieces of the greenhouse and we use uh, candles and we heat it up with candles under the bubble wrap. Mm. So it's we can start quite early actually. It's messy, but I think it's still cozy. Yeah. Okay. So Feeder number one. So we've got feeder this number one. This is my favorite feeder. This yeah, one lasts I like both. longer. And um, as, as we have already told you, or probably you know, there was a bird counting weekend here in Norway uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, we counted birds. Very well, we tried. We didn't count many, did we? No, not that many. And you will see why later. I think it's so nice to feed the bird with sunflowers yeah. because in the summer sunflowers pops up everywhere everywhere it's important to keep our little friends the birds uh, nice and you know full they need food ta tasty no what you no they're not not tasty not tasty but they need to be full they need to oh you eat. have some nice words for this oh toasty toasty nice toasty. toasty yeah okay let's go and see the garden mm. that's not much to see but it's mm. Something. Yeah, and people think just because there's snow that it's really cold, but yeah, it's like 30 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius, uh, which is very mild. So for it's us. not so cold. And it's so little snow. Yeah. Our benches, where we did the interview with Kim uh, last summer, usually we have to dig them out, but not this year. Helmer would have. Yeah. Don't film that. Thank you very much. Our deck, we usually have to dig this up every year for Easter. This year, Looks like it's going to be a very easy job. Normally we have snow. You can see the snow from the inside of the house uh, because it's like uh, it's lying there protecting the door. But this year, not so much. <laughs> and it's kind of it's it's fascinating when you see the garden in the summer how different it is it is from the winter. It's almost unbelievable that it can change so dramatically yeah. because in the winter it's in the summer it's like a jungle and now there's like nothing but this winter is really special because usually we don't see anything sticking out because we have about that much snow but again this year it's not the same as any other year i hope it stays like this because then we can have early spring yeah that would be fun and these are the dried flowers from last summer which we keep in the garden like this we take them away in the spring mm. when it's time to clean the garden and i saw something very cool on the internet carlos what there was a designer somewhere in paris or where it was and he had actually he took dried flowers like this and dipped them in concrete oh cool oh wow i want to try so that that's that's something great, we should try in the spring that's a great tutorial or yeah. a great episode making concrete flowers and then we can have colors. flower pots in the garden the whole year Ooh, that isn't that cool great i love the idea and you can paint them very nice idea so keep your yeah. eyes peeled and see if we succeed or if we fail yeah because we're gonna try it it was actually quite cold here before christmas so the lake is well frozen and it's about two meters six feet deep the, the ice so 
You can actually walk on the lake this year, no problem. However, this year we are trying to pretend that the lake is water because last year Helmer kept escaping and running out on, onto the ice and we don't want him to escape. But now he seems to have forgotten that, <laughs> so it's good. He's not as smart as we thought. No. And this is a nice bench for coffee or tea in the morning. In the summer. In yeah. the summer. Now we don't use it. And over here, I think we showed this before. This is where our old dog. Yeah, the mausoleum. The mausoleum. We have a mausoleum here if you haven't seen it before. So this is where Luda and all her stuff is in this one. Have we ever shown that? If not, it's time for you to... This uh, is a bit spooky. Yeah, the morbidness... Uh, it's my death mask. Except you're not dead. I'm not dead, but this is me without glasses. I did it many years ago and it's been in the garden for years. Yeah. It's even grown moss on it. But it's not your death, ma death mask. I think it's called death mask when you do that. Yeah, but you're not dead. Not as far as I know. No, so it's not your death mask. <laughs> it's your, it's your life but mask. But when I'm when I'm dead, when we're dead, then gone. Maybe someone find my head in the garden. I should dig it down. Yeah, well, maybe. Is that morbid or? I don't know. But no. it's not dead. I mean, if if they make a dead mask, they have to make it after you're dead. Okay. So I think we're good. It's, it's my mask. It's your life mask. That's me in Without the garden. Glasses. Without glasses. Recognize the profile. Recognize the nose. You see the Italian profile. Okay, so Arne. Because uh, I have relatives in old Rome, they had that nose. There's something know. I've always wanted you to do, hmm? and and uh, I haven't asked you. Could you please put the glasses on the mask so that I can see? Come on, Helmer. Can I see that it really is you? Come on, Helmer. Come. You can't get them on. That's me. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, Carl, the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> helmet saw it too, I think. I have to say something. I did something very strange. Remember a few years ago? I called the church. What's that? <laughs> yes. You called the people from the church, your local church, the people who work there, yeah. the janitor. Because um, on the graveyard, you know, along the fence, they put all crosses and stones that came from graves where people don't, they don't take care of the graves anymore. So they put the stones on the side. And me and my great, my grandmother, we went down there once and we found the stone that belonged to the grave where my great, great, great grandmother was buried, buried. So we took that home. So I thought it was okay to go there and pick up some crosses or something. Because I wanted to have a big cross on top of this because it's a grave. It's and a mausoleum. It's, and then the guy in the, in the church said, no, I was so sorry, I couldn't give me the cross because there could be people who still were alive and maybe they didn't like it if I put the cross in the garden. So we don't have the cross yet, but one day <laughs> we will have a, cross or we will have a sculpture of a border collie okay yeah that could be so nice mm. okay well helmer what are you doing that helmer. is actually a rhododendron uh, 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 don't eat the rhododendron or the leftover it can be rhododendron come down, helmer. Right, come come down. yeah and in case you're wondering where's freya she came out and then she did her little shaky 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 and uh, we figured, yeah, she's just uh, telling us she doesn't want to go out today. So she's inside, lying on a sofa, feeling very warm and toasty, I suppose. Yeah. And over there, this is the nice uh, circles we made of the... And these are some nice circles that we made of the stone that was used to be on the roof. But they were so old and they cracked. So we changed the roofs and then we took out this stone and we made these circles. We have also three over here. This one and that one, and we have one here that we started on last summer. And I think then it makes like a nice sculpture in the garden mm. in the winter. And we were talking about having sculptures in the garden, something that can f the ice can freeze on them and they can make some beautiful displays. Mm. Something in metal maybe. Maybe. Like cross. 
across. Yeah. <laughs> across. <laughs> okay, Arne, should we go feed the birds? Yeah, this is the bird feeder place. And we have had some uh, ekorn, what's that? Squirrels. Squirrels here, I guess. They, they are very, they are guests here. Yeah, but our so. squirrels are very small, they're tiny. Not like the big ones in uh, North America. Did I ever tell you about my story when I got attacked by an American squirrel? I was wearing a white, uh, no sorry, I was wearing an orange down jacket and it was uh, near Halloween and I looked like a pumpkin and apparently the squirrels thought the same. So we were walking in Boston and suddenly one started jumping on, on my leg and I don't know, he wanted to eat my jacket. The others were looking at me like, uh, yeah. He told so you were, of squirrels he thought now. you were a pumpkin. Here I am. <laughs> you want this one? <laughs> yeah. So this is where we tried to count the birds. We were up there with a shaker. Mm -hmm. Binocular. Binocular. We couldn't see anything. We saw the the red ones, the bullfinch, bullfinch. but all the grey ones we couldn't see the difference. And look, listen, he wants more. Yeah, he's getting all excited now. Let me see, this is a nice place. So nice to listen to that. Nice. Yeah, they're getting very yeah. excited. Then this tree cracked or broke during last winter because there was so much snow and it was ice on the trees, like Carl said, and then everything was covered with snow and it was so heavy, so it broke. So we have to get up there with a ladder and just not make it a little bit nicer. We mm. should do it. The plan was to do it last summer, but we didn't. Yeah. And then we can stop over here. The, the final the last tour, thing. or the last stop in our tour. This tree. This tree was actually, it was uh, kind of, it was bent all the way down. So it was like, uh, what do you call that? A kubu. Like a, uh, yeah. It it's, was bent. It was bent over like this, like a, like a porch or what you say, yeah. you walk yeah. through. Yeah, like a pergola or pergola. something. Pergola. And we hoped that it was, could straighten up again, but it, this is how much it came last summer. I like and it. And we have to see what happened, if it goes mm. up again next, next year or if it will, be, will stay like this. If it stay like that, it's also cool. Yeah. I so, think I like it. Yeah, so that's uh, the tour of our garden this winter. It's the first time we've actually been able to walk in here during winter. Usually when we feed the birds, we actually have to go out and feed them from the outside where we have a guide that comes and blows away our snow for us. Uh, will we ever blow our own snow on the inside? I Who hope knows? so. Uh, depends. But yeah, apparently when you buy a machine like that, that's when it stops snowing. We so jinx the snow. We jinx the, the snow. So anyway, maybe next year. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did like it, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, and uh, Put yourself on the mailing list and remember to subscribe because then you won't miss the episode. Yeah, be become a subscriber and hit that notification bell too. Get on the mailing list and uh, yeah. We post episodes on Sundays and on Wednesdays, and we hope to see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, because it's so mild, we didn't even need to wear knitted hats today. No. So that's how uh, strange but a hot, this couple winter hot is. Chocolate should be good now. A nice hot chocolate will be In great. In front of the fireplace. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> see you again next, see you time. next time. Bye. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs>